glass and bits of Tarago going everywhere. And when I come to a stop, all I can hear is screaming. Now I started in the transport industry when I was 17. I bought a van, became a courier on my pea plate, Sydney. Now all my friends were going to university. Probably would have been a good move, who knows. But at the time, I was pretty cool. Well, I was the only one out in the real world making a real income. I was a contractor, there was no such thing as GST, LPG was 26 cents a litre. Good times. Now a very good friend of mine, whose birthday it happens to be today, happy birthday Rocky, well his stepmother said to me, you just cruise through life don't you? And I've thought about that many times over the years and wondered whether it was an insult or a compliment. I think it was a compliment and that's the way I take it. Because I genuinely believe no matter what happens things just turn out. One way or another they just turn out. It's a good way to live. Well this story is a great example of that. It doesn't start well and it gets worse from there. But as you see things always turn out. So I just finished unloading 45 tonnes of canola meal at a dairy farm south of Winchelsea. So I was heading up the Winchelsea Deans Marsh Road. As I got up to the Cape Otway Road, things took a turn for the worse. Now unfortunately, my arrival at the intersection, and I had right of way, coincided with two French girls, 21 year old and a 22 year old, who had just arrived in Melbourne from France for their Australian holiday. They'd hired one of those juicy vans, it was a Tarago. They'd piled in, they'd set the GPS for the Great Ocean Road, for Port Campbell, to go and see the Twelve Apostles. So the GPS apparently took them down the Princess Highway, turned them off at Moriac, and put them on the Cape Otway Road. That's not a bad way to go. Problem is, they're not used to driving in Australia. They're not used to driving on the left-hand side of the road. And they're probably not used to reading our signs, bearing in mind they're both French. Now there are a few signs on that road which indicate the corners coming up. There is a speed reduction sign, there is a stop sign ahead sign, there is a prepare to stop sign, and there is a stop sign at the intersection. Unfortunately, they did not see that and came tearing through the intersection at minimum 80 kilometres an hour possibly a hundred, I'm not sure. Unfortunately they didn't realise the error of their ways until they basically got to the stop sign. It was raining, they hit the brakes, brakes locked up and they slid straight across the road at quite a great rate of knots. Unfortunately I was in a B-double heading north doing 80 kilometres an hour. I can't stop on a dime. I tried, turns out it doesn't work. Now remarkably I didn't jackknife Remarkably, I didn't have trailer swing. It got a little out of line, but it wasn't too bad. But unfortunately, due to the orientation of the corner, which is not a direct 90 degree crossroads, it's a sort of offset, you know, offset crossroads like this. They were coming across the front of me from right to left and towards me as I was heading north. The Trigo was picked up and spun a full 540 degrees, so right round and half way again. Ended up facing the way it had come, on the grass, on the side of the road, some way from the truck. I've pulled up, come to a stop in the middle of the intersection, and all I can hear is screaming. Now that, I can tell you, is terrifying, because I don't know what I'm about to find. I've got no idea how many people are in the vehicle. What I do know is I've gone straight in the passenger door and I've pretty much torn the entire passenger side of the van out. All I can hear is screaming. So I jump out the truck and run over to see what I can do to help. Now this is a relatively remote part of Victoria. It's not a well-trafficked road. Neither road are well-trafficked roads. But miraculously, another car arrived at the scene. So as I've jumped out of the truck and run over to the van, the girl's beaten me to it. We basically arrived at the passenger window at the same time. So she looks in the car, sees the two girls, looks at me and says, it's okay, I'm a nurse. And I have never been more relieved in my life. Until several moments later. When another car turned up, again, out of nowhere. Things always turn out. Because the second bloke who turned up jumped out and said, it's okay, I'm an off-duty ambulance or paramedic. 
Now, how fortunate can you possibly be? So that left me to ring triple zero, get the ambulance, the police, uh, SES, uh, fire brigade, because it was quite a mess, out. Now, as it turned out, the driver, she was okay. She was able to get out of the vehicle and she was all right. She was the one doing the screaming. The one in the passenger seat was semi-conscious. The passenger seat had been sheared off and she was pinned between the inside of the door and the driver's seat. Uh, she had to be cut out of the vehicle and both girls ended up in Geelong Hospital for the night and both girls were released the next day with no serious injuries. Absolutely miraculous. So thanks Evelyn, you're right, I do cruise through life, even when things go wrong, things always turn out. Now don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you soon.